Did you know that GarageBand here on your iPhone or your iPad can be run in background mode? Now, what is background mode? Why is it useful and why should you enable it? In this video, I'm gonna let you know. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And how can run in background mode help you do that here in GarageBand iOS? Well, what it allows you to do is actually continue using GarageBand while other apps are running. So if you switch out from GarageBand and you go into other apps, your GarageBand is going to continue playing back, recording or doing whatever it is. It'll run in the background even if you're using other apps. So let's turn this off first of all. And firstly, I'll show you what what happens when we don't have running background on when we switch apps here in GarageBand. So I'm going to hit play on this track and then I'm going to switch to another app and you'll see what happens without the running background feature enabled. So you can see there that as soon as I've opened another app here, I've gone into my OneNote to look at the lyrics of this song, then the GarageBand project has stopped. It stopped playing back, and if I was recording, it will have stopped recording. So let's instead go into our settings here up the top right. We're going to scroll down, and the way we enable this is tapping on Advanced, and then scrolling down and tapping on Run in Background. Now it's going to give us this warning, which says that you may experience various performance issues, and these issues can vary depending on which other apps are running. So the warning that I'll give you here is that if you are running other intensive apps and you want the absolute best quality and the absolute lowest chance of issues, don't have running background mode on. But if you're not running any intensive apps or you've just got things like your notepad as I do in the background, then I've not had any problems. So we'll say that is fine. We're good to go. Let's hit play again and switch over to our OneNote now and see the difference. And there you go. We, you can see that we can switch to another app. The playback will continue. GarageBand will keep running as it does in the foreground, but it's just in the background. So we're in another app while GarageBand is actually running. A handy feature, but you may be asking, Pete, why is this a handy feature and what do you use it for? Well, let's jump into that right now. So there are two main reasons that I like the run in background mode. Number one is when I'm working on a track like this that's nearly finished and I've nearly got a final mix, I can play it back and not be looking at the screen. I mentioned in a recent mixing video that mixing with your ears, not with your eyes, is a good way to go. So what I can actually do is I can hit play on my song here, and then I can go back to my home screen, I can open up any other app, or I can even turn my screen off and stick my phone in my pocket and just listen to the track and make sure that the music is sounding good, the lyrics are sounding good, everything is sitting nicely in the mix. And then I can reopen and go in and make my changes. So that's the number one thing that I love about running background mode. And the number two reason is what I showed you before, and that is that I can open up up a notepad app, my OneNote in this case, where I have my lyrics, my chord progressions, whatever I want. And while I'm actually recording, I can actually have this open. So yes, here in GarageBand, if you queue up an audio recorder track like this and you hit record, you can then double tap on your home button or swipe if you're on a, a newer device, come back over to another app and have your lyrics there. This is fantastic for recording your lyrics. If you're recording vocals, even recording guitar parts, you can have your chord charts up here because GarageBand band doesn't have a great deal in the way of adding lyrics or chord charts or any sort of markers. So this is a way around that, that you can have everything set up over here in your OneNote or in a notepad or in any other document and then hit record, leave GarageBand and it'll still record your track just as if you were right here in the app. And there you go. I hope you found this interesting. And if you're not using the run in background mode, perhaps you'll consider it because it is a very handy feature to have here in GarageBand that really adds to the flexibility of having a mobile recording studio in your pocket. Thanks for watching. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you as always for sticking around. If you'd like to check out some more GarageBand tips, tricks, and hacks, there are two linked in the videos right down below. You can also subscribe to this channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner, or you can head to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.